Hi guys, another question I've seen in my inbox is what subscriptions would you recommend as a dentist? I'm assuming you mean professional subscription. Obviously you have your normal ones, you know, your indemnity and stuff, but uh, I think you're talking about more for your CPD or professional development. What would I recommend? I'll tell you what I used to have and what I have at the moment, what I think is most useful. I used to have memberships to quite a few different providers, education providers, so I call them. I'm going to list these out. I used to have uh, the British Dental Journal since I was a member of the BDA, a journal called Dental Update, Isofarm, uh, Dental Tubules. There used to be one back in the days, but it's closed down now. And I was only subscribed to it for a couple of years called Dental Juice. Uh, you got Dental XP. A lot, and a lot of the memberships to the websites I've just named are very, very varied. I mean, Dental XP is like 500 pounds for the year. Not worth it, don't get it, in my opinion. I'll tell you what I have right now. I've got the British Dental Journal, BDA. And so that's only because I switched my indemnity over to the BDA and one of the terms is that I become, uh, is it an extra member? I think that's the, the second tier member. And as part of that, I generally get, um, the British Dental Journal has won the series they give you if you're a member of this. Uh, do I read the BDJ at the moment? No, no, I don't. There's some, some good articles uh, on there, but there's a lot of stuff like statistics and stuff. And if I'll be honest, don't really have time to sit down and decode any of this stuff. I'd rather focus on uh, spending time on reading anything that I can take tips and tricks from and literally apply the next day in my clinical practice or get a bit of a refresh on something. I don't really get that from the BDJ. So I've got the BDJ only because I'm a member of the BDA. Would I specifically subscribe to the BDJ? No, I wouldn't. If I be honest, no, I wouldn't. Dental Update, which is about, I think, £140 for the year. I have used to be a member of Dental Update for good eight years, nine years of my career and uh, it's fantastic. I, I love how the dental updates, the layer of it is nice and clear. All very, well generally, almost all, every article is very clinically relevant, written in very simple terms as well. And uh, it's, it's a nice, easy read. The reason I'm not subscribed to it at the moment is uh, because I've got such a backlog of other material that uh, interests me. I are probably going to take a break for a year or two and they can also always resubscribe later on uh, and normally they give you a bit of a discount anyway if you stop subscribing and resubscribe but the benefit is that if you subscribe a couple of years later you still got access to the previous few years material obviously you can't get your CPD hours that way but if you want purely for your knowledge base and improvement you can always access the previous years so I'm not subscribed to that right now mostly because I've got one membership running from the start, which is two dental tubules. I'm not sure what the new package is nowadays. I've been a member of from that from the start. So I think I'm still on the old price for that. But that gives me fantastic return on investment because there's got not just the articles and access to the study groups. I've also got uh, access to insane amount of videos and content on there and they're continuously updating on there as well, which is fantastic. So that's the one I'm subscribed to right now. For one year, a few years ago, I was on Dental XP only because uh, a dentist recommended it and said that there's a lot of uh, cosmetic dentistry on there. I don't think it was worth the return on investment. And I think a lot of the content on there was quite wishy-washy anyway. So Dental XP, no. Dental tubules, a big thumbs up from me. I'm still subscribed to Dental Tubule. That's the content I've got in my little to-do list or watch list that I've not gone through yet. And the other one I'm subscribed to apart from Dental Update, which I think is the, probably the best return on investment, is... Uh, I don't know what... The, I th they've changed the name recently, but it used to be called Isofarm. And uh, it's like £30 for the year. But it gives you verifiable CPD. And I think that's fantastic. I mean, for £30, you can get so much up-to-date knowledge on clinical stuff you know on even on core cpd and safeguarding medical emergency i think that's isofarm is a must if you want to up your game even further dental tubules if you got some spare cash and 
or if you're right at the start of your career or if you're it's time you realize it's time for no i don't, I don't want to say it's an extra but dental update if you want to keep up to date i think in, in, in the sense of uh, the clinical practice and the others are not doing it for you maybe that's the way to describe it and the bdj for me at the moment is a no-no dental xp is a no-no the dental juice i think has ceased functioning now but I don't think at the time that was even worth the return on investment. So for me personally, again, this is very personal. What I would recommend subscription-wise for your CPD would be Isofarm number one, dental tubules, followed by dental update. I think that's it. That, 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 that should do it, to be honest. I don't think you need... And if you can get through all of that content, you need to get a life, my friend. I mean, that's a lot of content there already and it should definitely be enough i don't think you need any other fancy subscriptions especially to the american ones which are ridiculously priced you, you don't you don't need any of them and as a side note i'm going to mention something else which is uh, for free go to youtube there is so much content on youtube right now it's insane it's all for free obviously you you'll be getting your um, verifiable cpd hours and stuff that you need you know for your registration but if it's purely from trying to improve your clinical knowledge and try to learn some tips and tricks it's brilliant social media you know youtube and instagram i'm not sure about tiktok i'm not on tiktok but uh, yeah stuff like that so don't go breaking the bank with anything too expensive these two three especially the first two isoform did the tubules in my opinion, are well worth it. And if you've got a few extra pounds lying around, go for a dental update, which makes me quite sad saying that because I was a member for eight, nine years. But I'm seeing a lot of the stuff repeat, which we do naturally anyway, obviously. Stuff gets updated, but uh, I don't think it's worth the money at this moment, especially if I've got other stuff planned that I need to still go through. And I can always resubscribe in the future. I have access to the journals which are being published right now in the future. Obviously, again, I will be getting the CPD points, but I'll be getting my CPD points from dental tubules and isofarm anyway. So it's kind of a win-win situation. I'm hoping that helps and that saves you a bit of money as well. Oh, sorry, there's one last thing I forgot. On dental tubules, there's a nice function about uh, leaving, having reflections and having a personal development plan. A lot of people still don't know they've got a very nice function on there for your personal development plan. So I highly, highly recommend dental tubules and isoform. Uh, so yeah, that should be it. Any comments, obviously drop them below. Anything you don't want to drop in the comments, please do not hesitate and put it in the inbox. And I'll see you for the next video.